Hi everyone, welcome to another Endgame study. Um, this one is by a guy named Simkovich, 1927, and it's White to Move. And what the heck is the idea here? It's interesting. I mean, I actually feel like White's trying to draw this position, even though we're up material. It just seems like he's about to eat our B pawn. <laughs> and what the hell are we going to do about that? It's like bishop takes c4, rook b1. And it just looks like troublesome position for us. It's, it's not easy to see how we would defend that position. Um, the other thing is if bishop g4... Hold on a second, though. Bishop g4, king d6, bishop f5. His rook is almost trapped. He can go rook a2. Then we can go knight a2, pawn takes a2, but I just wonder, is that queen going to get trapped somehow? The king c1, and if he makes a queen, we have bishop b1, and it's definitely at least a draw. The question, I don't think we can win. Let me just demonstrate what I was just looking at. Like this, this, so now his rook's stuck, so he can't just win easily. But he can still do this move, and it's very hard to defend the b pawn. So now we take king c1, he makes a queen, we go bishop b1, and we go back and forth forever um, with a draw. I don't see how he can stop it. This looks like a, a fortress type draw now. Boom, 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 boom for the rest of the world. And there's never, he can never put his king in a square to stop king c2. So I'm, I'm just going to go with that as my answer. I was correct. I'm so smart. Yeah, you just make this fortress and it's a draw. Otherwise, you're losing because he actually, he's going to get this pawn and then have a pass B pawn. So it's very important to stop rook B1 and then we let him queen and we have this little fortress back and forth. Cool puzzle, man. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another endgame study. Peace out.